Hi, my name is Laura. I'm from Sweet Freedom Homestead. And today I'm going to be teaching you to make devil's claw root capsules. Um, I'm going to tell you the different ones I bought and the price of them. Well, first one, I, I love tinctures. Tinctures help me the most. Um, I broke my back at 15 and I'm 57 now and been on different all types of narcotics. <laughs> the dog just hit the truck. Oh, we're living in our fifth wheeler in Mississippi right now, um, helping take care of my mother with health issues. Um, the tincture that I bought, this first time I tried it with the tincture, um, Devil's Claw. Anyway, tinctures to me help the most. Tinctures help right away. I mean, within five minutes, you'll get the benefits of a tincture. I'm going to also make a tincture, not in this video, but I'll be making another video and show you how to do that. Um, the reason I'm doing this now is because it's expensive. I think um, this is um, four ounces, and I think it's like $85. And you need to at least take a teaspoon at a time. And if you're taking it three times a day, it's not going to last you very long. So I bought um, the, the root, Devil's Claw root from um, Star West. And for a pound of it, let's see, Star West was $32.98. And I also bought a pound from Save A Teas and Herbs, and it was $26.45. I like each one for a different reason. Um, the Save A Tea and Herbs I like because it's bigger and thicker, which means this is going to work much better for a tincture, which I'll be making next. And then the Devil's Claw Root is, it's not a powder, but it's broke up, like, I can show you a little bit. It's half as fine as that. Uh, you probably can't see it, but let's say, I'd say half as that. As you can see, it's much smaller, which works in the grinder, is what I did. I grinded it up, and it worked much better to put into the capsule. I already have some done. That way we don't have to have all that noise while I'm trying to do this. But um, I'll show you how to make the capsules. And then later I'll show you how to make the tincture. Tincture. The thing with tinctures are. I'm probably saying that wrong also. The, the thing with them making them. It, can, it takes like. They say six to eight weeks. Eight weeks. Leaving it stronger. Which I thought that in the beginning. Well I'll leave it for months and months. And it'll get even stronger. No it, it won't. Once it's um, about. Six weeks, they say, is pretty much where it stops. You can do it eight, may get a teeny bit more strong or better. But um, definitely after eight weeks, we might as well start using it because it won't get any stronger. That's the potent it's going to get. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I bought this at um, Amazon. When I first started out, I had a little machine that did, I think, 25 or 20 um, capsules at a time. And it was nice, but I had to do it so many times. So I went ahead and got this one, and it's 100 capsules. Much better. I don't have the price of these. I didn't think to do that, but it's not very expensive. I'm thinking probably $25, $35, something like that. And they, they last really long. This one still looks brand new. I've used it numerous times. Um. When doing this, I recommend gloves, not just for cleanliness, but because this type of stuff dries your hands out. If you have sensitive skin like I do, it's really going to dry it out. My hands break out, like, from dish detergent. Like, Dawn, I can't use Dawn at all. Dawn will eat my fingers up. So, okay. So you put these on. Um, the capsules I get are also from um, Amazon. I think these are like they're under twenty five dollars or a thousand capsules. What I do, I always sit and watching something, doing something, mainly watching TV or something like that or YouTube, and take them apart. And like I put, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> where's the clicker? Oh, you would have to go now, Gator. Now I don't know where the clicker's at. Here it is. I'll be back. Okay. Now, as I was saying, 
me hit the thing again. So hopefully you can still see me fine. Um, I sit and watch TV. I take the capsules. I put one, I call tops the bigger part, bottoms the smaller part. That way it just makes it quicker when I'm doing them. Because I usually do, I take Kratom also. And um, I take like nine a day. So I'll try to make 200 of these at a time when I make it. That way I don't have to keep making it so often. Why I make them myself is because um, I find that I can get better product and a cheaper price. I know it's fresh because I'm just doing it. I went When I first started, I, I didn't think it worked. I started, um, I bought it at a smoke shop. And when it actually worked, I was surprised. Very surprised. And that's the same with Devil's Claw. Devil's Claw works very well. And with the tincture, it works really fast. Um, Wendell took it the other night because he do not usually take anything. He came in hurting. His um, leg was hurting really bad. And I gave him a teaspoon of the tincture. And probably within 10 minutes, he couldn't believe it. He was really <laughs> mind blown that his leg stopped hurting immediately. It just went away and he went to sleep. So... I highly, highly suggest if you have any pain, arthritis from old injuries or anything, look into Devil's Claw. And I'm supposed to say, <laughs> ask your doctor, tell them what you're going to take, know what you're already taking. So do your research. But for me, it works. And for him, it works. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make these capsules. Take this. In case you do buy one of these, you um, have the main part. And you take this green thing. This is where you line up your pills. You're going to put that on here. It kind of like, it's not magnetic, but it kind of falls into place. Now, first we do the big ones, which I call the tops. We're going to throw these in here. Quite a bit. kind of keep it together so you kind of hold your thumbs and also I try to block the hole and you kind of just wiggle it around a little bit pop it around you can put it in one by one but it's a lot longer you did this once you get them all in close to in I usually get close to the end and I get impatient and start putting them in myself stop a minute while I get this done. Those in and you're gonna oh, to check it. Take the lid off. You press down a little bit. You'll see you have holes and you also when they're upside down squeeze your fingers in there. Flip it over. It's like I got three of them that did that. All right. Add some more. Probably not quite as much as I did the first time. I don't have way too much stuff up here, but we don't have much space in here. You could, I'm sure you would realize. It's kind of like a gang. Not so fun gang. <laughs> okay. I may have put too much. It's like, you can't see in it that well, but you can tell the difference of what it looks like when one's in and one's not. Okay, let's see. It's looking like I may have them. So just take the ones extra. I'm sure I'll be off a couple and have to get a couple more out, but... Sometimes this goes much faster, especially when you're not recording. It always does that, you know. Okay, and push down on here. And I see one, two, three, four, five, six empty spots.
Might have been seven spots. And yes, I'm always dropping them and losing them. So if you have a dog that's going to eat stuff right away, or definitely make sure you pick it up if you heard it fall. The only one will is my little one, and he's blind and deaf, so I don't think he knows. Hopefully, I'll find the one I lost. Okay, let me double check this. Double check, triple check. Because I've done it before and one's not in there and you get powder everywhere. You don't want to do that. Okay. Looks like everything's full. Now. You take this tray. This is going to be your bottoms. The smaller part. Now you take this big one again. And you kind of line it up. You feel till it clicks. And you... Let your bottom in. Just wiggle it, wiggle it, pop it, wiggle it. Oh, I see a lot of them going upside down. Of course. There may be something out there that is more expensive does a better job at this I'm not sure but if you know what something let me know compared to doing the 20 or 25 at a time I prefer doing it this way for sure like I said you get a hundred at a time you can knock out quite a bit quickly once you get on a roll doing it it's easy. And like I said, it's always, unless you're not using them fast, then don't make way more than you're going to use because it won't be as fresh. You want to use it quickly. I'd definitely say within a month of making it. Because I would, I don't know this for sure, but I'm more than positive it's going to start losing potency just like other medication and stuff would. Wendell's not in here. I'd ask him. I'm sure he knows that. Wendell's a pharmacist, so one thing he knows, he knows all the horrible stuff that's in medication. He's a pharmacist that doesn't take anything. Okay, looks like I missed, he's on miss this many, so must be talking and doing this at the same time. Okay, now it looks like everything's full. But I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 of them are upside down. So you have to go in there and flip them. And it's super easy to see them. they're upside down. All right, I'm going to stop it just a moment. All right, we're back. Okay, now, you take this orange one, and they have, like, these two kind of, like, cutouts. You make sure you lay the cutouts up top. No, oh, I heard something fall. <laughs> I bet you one of these came out. Hmm, let me double check that just in case. Like I said, do not do it with one of these missing. Yep, one got stuck and came out. I'll find it, but put this one in place right now. Okay. I don't normally have this much problem. Promise. Okay, so keep this together. And set it somewhere. Hopefully you have much more room than I do. Alright. Now you take this one. This white little top. And this is where all your powder is going to come. Okay, here's my devil claw that I grinded. I grinded in this little coffee grinder. Which is just for this. Um, the thing I think. That works best for me is to put a lot in it at once so not totally full but don't put a little bit I thought that and no that's not the best way to do it you want like a quarter of a cup and you put it in there and you grind it pretty much like you grind coffee beans no Rocco okay now it's gonna be a lot of, especially when you do do you mean you do grind this up and you grind it make sure you 
I'm gonna have to tap it and let it rest for a little bit, a couple minutes, because powder was gonna flow everywhere. Okay, so now you take your devil's claw and you're gonna pour it up here. You might also want to wear a mask if you have any kind of respiratory problems. Hopefully I got enough grinding. That'll be awful if I don't. If not, I'll have to grind it with y'all watching. Okay, this, I'm not sure what you call this, but you push it around with. Kind of keep your hand keeping this down, the white part. Especially whatever side you push into, holds it on that side where it doesn't go under. And I also recommend you put, I have, um, I guess you call it shelf liner and then parchment paper, just something to keep it from making a huge mess. Don't wear anything that you don't want it on. It'll come out, but wouldn't suggest you're ready to go somewhere with those clothes on. Okay. And you just try and push it back and forth, get it all in there. That's my little dog making problem. He can't hear me, so there's no need for me to say anything. He just decided now's the time to <laughs> start scratching around. Thanks, Rocco. And just bring it to all the holes. Turn it that way I can pull this a little better. This is about as fun as watching paint dry. <laughs> Rocco, it's not that time. Oh, go round, round, round. Get it in. Once it's in there, which I'm almost got it all the way. Okay. Then I kind of like try to evenly um, distribute what's left, the powder, over ne over the capsules because you got this little thing. I guess it's like a tapper and you want to lightly put it in the holes. Just wiggle it down a little bit. Just kind of like packing it in there. And then you... Start sweeping it again. I actually think I'm going to have just enough. Do I have more in that jar? Yeah, I think just going to actually do it. That's good. I've been taking, um, I just started taking the capsules and taking six, um, two, three times a day. I could probably take more. I'm just trying to see what I can get by with right now. And it seems to be working pretty well. You don't feel any high. You don't feel you don't feel nothing except relief. Pretty much all you feel. It's nothing. I know pain pills a lot, especially in the beginning when you start taking it, you get a major headache. Um, some people get sleepy. I still get sleepy. Um, what else? Uh, looks like I could have used a tad more. Oh, man. If you lift this up lightly, you'll see there's powder on the sides. You can use that, too. I'm hoping it's enough where I don't have to make any more. But we're very close. I think I can make it work. I hear you, Rocco. I hear you. Now he's going to get vocal. I'm going to stop this right after and feed him that way. Hopefully he'll stop doing that. 
Okay, let me pause this while I go feed him. Okay, now I got this done. Now you take this, I'm going to keep it tightly closed. Now you're going to flip it. The orange is going to go on top of the tray. Now you're going to push down with your thumbs. Sometimes a little harder than other times. I used to do that in powder. Now if you forgot, oh, and powder is going to be a big mess right there. Okay. Now, this is the way I do it. I flip it upside down. Let me move this powder out of the way. Move the powder. And then set it down. And then I lift this up. Oh, that's not good. That doesn't usually happen. For some reason. Hey, when you're recording stuff, everything happens. Let's see. I'll fix those hand by hand. Anyway, what I do, I take my thumbs and I push down. You'll feel kind of like a click. You can even hear a click, actually, if you listen. Just go over top of each one. That way you don't have to individually push them together. I found this works faster. I might have forgot one. Yep, I did. You can use either finger. I know I said thumb, and I'm not using a thumb. <laughs> okay. Then I lightly lift off the orange. And yes, there's powder everywhere. And look. One's... Oh my goodness. Chill out, y'all. One... It's already done. I'm just double check it. Yeah, it's already done. Okay. This is the jar that I bought. I bought these jars at um, the Dollar Tree. I just bought stickers at the Dollar Tree. Put it on there. And stick them in there. Let me make sure. Did I do these? Yeah, I did. Okay. And then I just... You could do that. Or you could... Yeah. And then just grab a bunch. But yeah, you know what I just did, didn't I? That capsule that had came apart. What I did with it. Anyway, I messed up. But I'll find what I did. Here it is. The one that spilled Gator. Too much commotions going on. I have ADHD and there's stuff going on. My brain is going to too many things at once. Anyway, I had already made a um, hundred. So this is 200 capsules. What did I make? I might have actually made 200 of these. Yeah, I think actually, yeah. This was a hundred of um, mushroom I made. These are really good two at bedtime so this is 300 capsules that fills this up and that's pretty much all you got to do and it seals very well um i could suggest that you get one of the little you know when you're canning and stuff you put in to keep things dry probably that would be good in here at the moment my brain i can't think what it's called but that's pretty much all you got to do and much cheaper pressure you'll know how old your pills are because you're buying them if you're buying capsules already made you have no clue how old they are and if you're buying tinctures it costs a lot more money so as i say i do like tinctures way better than capsules but Sometimes you got to take what you get because it's going to take six weeks <laughs> to make the tincture that I'm going to make next. But if you want something that works quickly, tincture is the way to go. The next best thing, capsules. So that's how you make Devil's Claw. Thank you.